Alright guys, so we're back in the stand. I missed one opening day. It's my turn to be the hunter. We got Hawk behind the camera. I filmed for him this morning. And we're down about, I don't know, a thousand yards, maybe more, down on the bottom. That's where we hunt this property in the morning. Now we we're hoping to get him in transition from food to bedding. We watched him bed. We waited, we got down without spooking them. We know there's a bunch of does down there bedded. And they're gonna work their way up through these acorns because we're in the food now. So early season, a good thing to do to get, especially for does, is mornings, hunt transition routes to bedding. Now I'm not saying get real close to bedding, just if you know where your deer, if you have defined lines of movement on your property, get where they're going to bed. Get in the middle somewhere. We like to stay 200, 300 yards away from bedding and try to get in off a major food source. And then in the evenings, we hunt the food. So that way you don't hunt the major foods, especially fields, acorn patches like this. We got a lot of white oaks, beech nut, hickory. It's all over through here. We don't hunt this in the morning because we're gonna spook a lot of deer. So hunt it smart early season. Don't burn out a lot of stands. Move around. Always hunt hard, hunt smart, and hunt proud. But all right, we gotta get our heads on the swivel here. They're gonna start moving. We got a perfect wind blowing straight out. We're gonna be in doze tonight, I can feel it. I'm gonna start calling, just some soft bleats, and uh, get, get another layer of phase on and get to work, so stay tuned.
one, right? Right there. Right. Is that the big one? No. No. That one. Oh, I see it. After seeing those deer bed down right there 40 yards, I'll tell you what, the mixture of phase and Cook's bedding, those deer were downwind, came up, I called to them with the extinguisher, came right there bedded.